It's it just an advertisement for fish and chips, but it lampoons the South African president, Jacob Zuma. He's shown eating with his family at his sprawling home in Nkandla, a controversial property because of the millions of taxpayer dollars spent upgrading its security. Even Plavin will approve this. <laughs> we chose Nkandla uh, because it was popular. It was, well, it still is. It just It's going to get people's attention. I mean, if, if you're in advertising, you look at what uh, people think and say at the time. It was hugely popular with the public, but someone higher up didn't see the humour. South Africa's state news broadcaster banned it. But it still got plenty of hits online. I think it was hilarious. It captures exactly what Zima is and what Nkantla is all about. No, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, yeah. Jesus. Another of his popular animations featuring an African Jesus also got him into trouble until he says he's not setting out to offend, only to poke fun and to push the boundaries. The killings at a satirical newspaper in Paris in January have only confirmed his views on freedom of speech. People will make fun of you in the real world. People will, you know, say bad things about you in the real world. So you just need to grow up about it and just accept it. Truly says his animations have had around 8 million hits online. It's because he's one of the first South African animators to feature local voices, cultures and issues. It is quite refreshing for it to be South African. But despite his popularity, he's had to struggle to get his work on TV. Do you feel like you're a bit of a, a groundbreaker in a way? You're a black South African talking to South Africans with different languages. Groundbreaker. <laughs> Um, I could say yes, uh, to, a, to a certain level. But this artist says he has a lot more ground to break to make African voices more mainstream. Okay. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg, South Africa.